I'm Chef Bruce, and with me today is Chef Sunshine. She's the executive chef at Elements Hotel in Palmashan Makati. She studied in Delisan College of St. Benil. She honed her skills in Florida and in Maine, where she practiced European and Western food. Today, she's going to put a twist on one of her dishes, and I'm so excited to learn about it. What are you going to make today, Chef? Today, I'm going to show you how to make kinilaw na maya maya. All right, so what's first, Chef? First, we're going to have the fish. We want to make sure that your fish is always nice and dry before you handle it. We are going to skin the fish. We want our knife as, as flat as possible. And this we're just, we're just going to wiggle the skin until you get a nice fillet. Nice! First, we have to make sure that uh, we don't have the pin bones. You can pull it, pull it out. It can come up easily. Okay. They're pretty big. Alright, so what's next? So we're just gonna cut the fish into small cubes. Not super small. We're gonna need a half a cup of calamansi juice. So aside from calamansi, you can also use white vinegar. And also you can use daya, or that's our local lime. When you use daya or lime, you don't squeeze it all the way through. Because what's gonna happen, the bitter flavor from the seed and the skin will mix with your food. So next is, we are going to slice some onions. I have here a bowl of ice cold water. Uh -huh. We can minimize the sharp flavor from the onion, and then it's gonna stay crisp. I love far fetch because it's quick, it's convenient. Every time I wanna try to cook something, I just order from farm fetch and I have a little bit of everything. And then we're gonna start cutting our okay. What we wanna do is just salt the fish. So we also have a composting pile. Um, all our kitchen scraps goes into the composting pile because this is what we're gonna do to help with sustainability. Okay, so I'm just gonna grate some garlic and ginger. All right, so we have cilantro here. How much cilantro do you need? Just so about two bunch. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of the stems. It's kind of soft, so it down gets a bit too gritty for me. I'm gonna add the lemon sea juice now. Okay. Not all of it. We're gonna have to taste it. Some white vinegar. Uh, yeah, we're gonna add some cucumber actually. All right. For us to have a a nice mouthfeel, an extra crunch, and a little bit of freshness. And it also yeah. cools it down from that heat and chili. Yeah. I'm just gonna taste it and adjust it a little bit. If you want more cilantro, if you want more salt in it, just add more. If you think it's more, it's a little bit fishy still, you can add more grated ginger. And for those who doesn't have a, a grater at home or the, the zester, you can use a regular grater, wrap it with plastic, and then you just start rubbing the garlic or the the ginger there, and then you have the taste. A little bit of pepper. Right. Sometimes I like to use some, add some olive oil in it as well, okay. just to give it a more uh, not bitter, but just contrast of flavor with it. And that's why I like adding camote as well because it has this smoothness. Cool. Cooking is up to you guys. You play with it any which way you want. You know what? Farm veg is now with ikadiba. 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 It's Ani and Ika. So Ani is like, they want to maximize the harvest. Um, it also helps the local fishermen and farmers. So you can find farm fish, farm fetch on Ikadiba. Now, Ika is the other part of it. So it's, again, I guess profit, profit, profitability for farmers and uh, fishermen. So it's basically a uh, fair share price. Uh, that way, it'll be easier for us as uh, consumers to get it and for them to actually maximize the yield of their domain because fishing and farming is hard and it's not an easy thing. So I hope that you know, people, you guys, try it. We support farm fetch, we support our local farmers and we support our local fishing. This one is Maya Maya. I love using Maya Maya. It's firm, it's fresh and what we usually use here in the Philippines is anigue. Mm -hmm. right? But then you can always use any type of firm white fish. It's perfect for your kinela. So there's our kilowi na Maya Maya. Show us your version of Kinilaw and tag us on Instagram, Farm Fetch Chefs. Also on Facebook. Stay tuned for next episode because I'm going to be teaching you how to make burong sibuyas at siling haba.